can we do? Have you got an idea? We have weird canvases, colored and soft. Squeeze acrylic paint into a big Ziploc bag. Put in two spoons of starch. Zip the bag and mix the paint with the starch. Make a few bags of different colors. You can paint them with your fingers or a feather. Smooth out the canvas and try again. Blondie wants to make imprints of small toys and redhead stamps with her EOS lip balm. Blondie's painting is a navy style with an anchor and starfish. Redhead is in a low spirit, but I've got a tried and tested remedy to cheer her up. A fashionable doll with my friend's face. Print out a paper doll clothes coloring page. Color the clothes and cut them out. Attach your friend's face onto the doll. It works! My friend dresses her doll copy gladly. I wish we could get real clothes as easily as the paper ones. We have a new game championship, though we don't have a name for it yet. Spongeball? Comb tennis? Anyway, it doesn't matter. What really does is driving away the boredom. Make a deep cut in a big sponge. Stick a handle comb in it. Make two identical details. Blondie manages to fight off all the attacks. Redhead keeps up with her. And you can comb your hair when the ball pops all of a sudden. Redhead is under a tree feeling melancholy. And Dolly is deep in making a pyramid of colorful cups. Boom! And a sock ball hits the thoroughly made construction. Coat paper cups with different colors of acrylic paint. Make a ball out of a pair of bright socks. The boredom vanishes into thin air. The girls start a competition for striking the most cups at a time. It's a tie! And they keep spirits up for the rest of the day, even when the cup game is forgotten. Dolly has taken markers to color a stress-relieving coloring book. And Emma decides to color her friend's t-shirt. Put a piece of cardboard inside a white cotton t-shirt and draw a floral pattern with a pencil. Trace it using a thin black fabric marker. Draw a picture on the back of the t-shirt in the same style. Emma uses fabric markers to color the t-shirt. The black and white pattern on Dolly's t-shirt is getting filled up with colors gradually. My friends made a surprise gift. What's inside of it? Emma barely manages to open the can and colorful confetti is popping up. Cover two identical cans with acrylic paint of pastel shades. Dip a round sponge into different colors and dab the cans making big dots. Cover the entire surface. Punch holes of different sizes in a pile of colored paper. Let's get colorful confetti. Put it into the can. Fill the second container with pale pink confetti shaped like small circles and big hearts. Add some glitter. Paint the lid and the ring. Hot glue it to the can. The regular rain is over, so we arrange a colorful one. Confetti is way more fun than rain. You won't get wet and keep your spirits up. I've got my signature lunch for my friends. It's super healthy and doesn't contain any calories because it's made from paper. Measure half an inch beyond the edge on a square of brown paper. Connect the marks. Make two diagonal lines. Join the marks where the lines cross at the corners. Score a folding line with closed scissors. Fold it along the scored lines. Cut the diagonal lines up to the cross point. Make cuts at the other corners. Cut off the excess. Put together a 3D triangle. It's our sandwich! Attach the sides with white glue. Cut out a triangle with rounded corners out of beige paper. This is butter. Attach it to the brown block. Attach a yellow foam rubber sheet triangle. This is a slice of cheese. 
and add two paper circles of pink sausage. Chop white paper and attach it to the sausage. We've turned bologna into salami. Add a paper salad leaf. Draw four lines through equal gaps on a piece of yellow paper. Add two crossing lines at the top and at the bottom. Make two cuts up to the border. Score the lines. Bend the cut edges inside. Cut off the corner squares and put together the block. Glue the edges and make a few more sticks like this. Add french fries to the paper sandwich. We want to arrange a picnic, but our friend with food is nowhere to find. Finally, she appears with a treasured food bag and rushes away immediately. She says she needs to go right now. We unwrap the bag full of hope. What's that? A paper sandwich and paper french fries? You won't get full on a lunch like this unless you are on a paper diet. But if we can't manage to grab a bite, we will make a paper battle. Potato versus sausage. Cardboard versus paper. I dream about tearing my steak apart with a fork and a knife, but my friend Emma won't be able to do this. Her cutlery is not made for food at all. Prepare plastic cutlery. Heat a knife over a candle. Cut off a handle and bottom part. Cut thick decorative rope into four parts. Melt the ends a bit using a match and attach the rope to the remaining parts of the cutlery. This droopy spoon definitely won't work. We learned how to use chopsticks, but soft cutlery is way too much. There should be a special knife and fork for those who are trying to lose weight. We will lose weight quickly with this cutlery. My friend really likes solving a Rubik's Cube. This is why I have prepared a surprise for her, an edible and healthy Rubik's Cube with fruit and vegetables. Cut a kiwi into squares. Cut a beetroot in squares too, but don't forget to put gloves on, otherwise your hands will be colored. Cut a banana the same way. And a carrot. Put the squares onto toothpicks and assemble them to get a cube. This edible Rubik's Cube is easy to solve. Just collect all of the cubes of the same colors in your mouth. The one who does it first wins. Redhead is painting outdoors. She creates a new collection of clothes. Is she measuring proportions? We're just spinning a brush in her hand and pretending to look busy. Let's measure the size of the model's head. Excellent! Dolly is sure that her friend is painting her portrait. But why does she need a carton of eggs then? Make two holes on the opposite sides of an egg. Make one hole a bit bigger. Use a toothpick to mix everything inside and take out the contents with a syringe. Prepare a few eggs in this way. Hot glue the smaller hole. Add some water to acrylic paints of different colors. Fill the syringe with it and pour it into the eggshell. Hot glue the rest of the holes. Redhead aims an egg at her friend. Hey, is it a new painting technique? but all the eggs fly directly to the painted t-shirt. This is what we call expressionism. The same print appears on Dolly's t-shirt all of a sudden. It's so amazing. Redhead is a true born designer. A present waits for Redhead. I've prepared a real candy entertainment for her. Open your eyes and get ready because this is a pinata. Cut notebook pages into strips. Let them soak in white glue. Cover a big balloon with these strips. Attach the paper overlapping without gaps. Wait for the first layer to dry and add another paper coat. Leave a little area free of paper. Make a hanger while the balloon is drying. Bend a wire and hot glue it to a strip of thick cardboard. Make it firmer by attaching another cardboard strip on top. Hot glue it nicely. Use pliers to make a hook out of the end of the wire. 
Snip off the end of the balloon when the paper dries. Cut out a wide hole. Take out the balloon. Put in candies, sparkles, glitter, and tinsel. Attach the cardboard with the hook into the hole. Add a few pieces of cardboard on top to fasten it better. Cut colored tissue paper to make fringe and attach it to the outside of the paper balloon. Decorate the pinata with a funny face made out of colored paper. I cover Redhead's eyes. Wait, you've forgotten a baseball bat. Now you can go. Wait, pinata is in a different direction. Redhead with a baseball bat is a real entertainment. Better than a pinata. No one can hide from her. Neither Candies nor her friend. At last, we've reached the target. Come on, lady with a baseball bat. Attack your victim. A few accurate hits and the pinata is open. All the candies are free. We just have to choose the most delicious ones. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new summer ideas on the Troom Troom channel.